Hello, tubers. This is Pat Jordan coming to you from the Grain Ghetto in Ill Annoyed. I was asked to share my thoughts on CRISPR. I would like to keep this short, so I will provide only one link below to the greatest broadcast in the history of the planet. The reason it is the greatest broadcast beyond being one of the funniest exchanges in the world is that in discovering the origins of CRISPR within DuPont, that is a weapons manufacturer, we merely cross-applied the origins of CRISPR in the bacteria that was using it as a defensive weapon against viral infection. Then that resonance of thought, concordance, and symmetry forces us to wonder what a weapons manufacturer would do with it. The intended purpose inside the bacteria is all that I want to cover here because I have established some time ago that I think the origin of evil is viral in nature. Not a meme, not a computer code virus, but a nanomolecular machine based on DNA and or RNA. That's the hardest concept for people to overcome because they have been inculcated to think only in terms of gods and demons, good and bad aliens, or altered states of consciousness to define their world. I take you into the world of biology where no others have done before me so that you can see life that is death for what it is and together we might reverse engineer it to be the masters of our own fate. So what is CRISPR? It's a genetic trick that bacteria use to prevent bacteriophages that are viruses from taking them over. Sounds reasonable and healthy. Sounds like if you were a military... <laughs> Let's try this again. So, sounds like if you were a military weapons maker that just happened to branch out into paint and then yogurt, did I just repeat myself? That you might want to understand phage resistance as a bacterial trait to keep multi-ton stainless steel fermenter vats of your dairy product from going bad due to phages. You would want to keep the viruses out. You would want to promote resistance in the bacteria. So DuPont basically uncovered the workings of CRISPR in their dairy operations and then cataloged it in phage libraries. Here's the dark part. Here's the turnaround. Here's the opposite day. If you can figure out how a bacteria can resist infection, then you can also figure out how to disable that function so that it has no capacity whatsoever to fight an invader to keep it from taking it over. That's what CRISPR is about. Not the, we come in peace, we're here to help bullshit. That's the cover story. Don't forget, very can quorum sense. I think that Viri are collectively smarter than mankind, so it has used mankind as an opposable thumb puppet to do its will, like a zombie animal parasite taking over the host to make it do strange things to serve the bug within. Humans aren't that smart. They're clever, which is another boon to the bug, but what people call God is nothing other than a virus that plays a dual role as the devil. Since God created the devil, that means that God had to have had a bit of badass in it, or simply was the devil to begin with. So whereas they promise that CRISPR will revolutionize medicine or cure terrible diseases, we've heard that shit for millennia with no show. So you know from the beginning that all the propaganda around CRISPR is a ruse. The first use of viruses for gene delivery on a cancer patient killed the patient. The experiment was a success. The eager kids that are now hacking genomes will also talk about surgical precision of excising genes and putting in the new ones. But they never tell you about the 100 downstream fuck-ups that can make your perfect Chinese clone baby have one eye in the middle of its head in the back. I want to keep this short, but a little history is needed. In the 1930s, when they found that bacteriophages used restriction enzymes to cut and paste themselves into their host, the age of molecular biology was formed. 
The Russians used phages for 50 years to actually fight disease, while the Americans hid the technology in order to build bioweapons. So with that short vignette as a background, would you really go into a clinic or hospital to volunteer to be shot up with something that, until this video, you did not understand, did not make yourself, therefore you have no idea what it is or what it is programmed to do, you already know that medicine is military, they see you as an enemy combatant, and they lie out their ass. So, what do you think laboratory CRISPR was designed for? Bing! Got it in one. It is designed to completely disable the host's innate defenses against viruses so that they can be installed without opposition, therefore taking over the host by and for the virus. I just called the virus God, didn't I? So this is a virus telling its human thumb puppets to build a cut and paste tool so that it can write itself into us without anything to stand in its way so that it can be us. Yes, a virus like any other life form, such as a yeast telling you to eat sugar or a rabies telling you to salivate and bite your neighbor's ass, can access the central nervous system of the host and steer it like teenagers in a joyride. Do you see the shuck and jive, the bait and switch? Studying CRISPR so that you didn't lose 50 tons of yogurt was the cover for developing the phage library to ensure that nothing could resist the viral invasion because if you know how something works, you also know how to prevent it from working. CRISPR is the Arcanet virus plan to take over the biosphere because no life form based on DNA or RNA will be able to resist it. Damn cool! And paid for by your tax dollars and purchases of yogurt with good mouthfeel. How's your mouthfeel now? Is that a bitter taste or does it taste like something that came out of the other end of the cow?